Hi everybody, uh, Niall Cregan here, coming to you from the GitLab inbound marketing team. And the aim of this video is just to do a very quick recap of the recently constructed integrated campaigns reporting dashboard. The purpose of the dashboard is just to simplify the bi-monthly reports that are being developed uh, to uh, analyze the progress and impact of the landing pages of the integrated campaigns. So for a very quick run through, uh, we just choose the page we wanna analyze, remove the filter, input the page, uh, remove the HTTPS, and then we can see filter down to that specific page group. And uh, we can quickly see the metrics then are gathered and it is contrasted with the previous period. We have the date period set here. This can be set every the two month period, uh, for example, for those specific reports. <clears throat> and then we can see the page view trends, the traffic trends and the bounce rate trend uh, for that time period. Down here on the bottom of the page within the uh, table categories here, we can see the event category and then a second one for the default channel grouping. The aim for this is to identify both the action taken on page within the event category and also what channels are driving those events. So we are looking at primarily at the forms. Obviously, that is the main aim of these pages. Uh, but we've also included other elements such as navigations and CTA, etc., because it is very useful to identify if there is other on-page elements on a form fill page that is diluting actions, such as is there CTAs in the headers or the footers that are attracting people to click, whereas we really want to focus them on the form fill pages. And this is the kind of information we can use for developing further optimization requirements. Uh, we can see also the events versus the previous period and unique events. So What's very interesting is we can contrast the forms. There's 415 submissions, but we can tell that only 408 of them are actually unique, which means that some people may have submitted multiple forms. So this can be aligned with the Periscope data and can be uh, fairly interesting or can be fairly applicable. So another element we want to do is this is reporting on all channels currently, but we have included a filter system. So we can analyze these tables and the database just on specific channels. So for example, if we want to see just what the information is based for the organic, we can just quickly click the organic filter and hit presto. We can see the form fields within the time period, uh, as well as the other data is filtered specific to that uh, default channel. Uh, so this report can then be used to either report or analyze the data based on all traffic from all channels, or we can filter it down, which uh, makes it more actionable uh, and can be applicable to more teams than just a specific grouping. So that is just a quick overview of the dashboard. Um, so if there's any queries, any questions, or any optimization ideas for next iterations or data points, please feel free to reach out. Uh, happy to try and progress the dashboard as we're moving forward and identify any needs uh, that might be outside the parameters already constructed. So until then, uh, thank you very much for your time, and we shall see you all again soon.